don't really care what he's wearing as long as he gets the job done and Germany perform well. I think that's what he'll be judged on. But uh, Julian Nagelsmann's dress sense and fashion sense always part of the conversation, no matter what the occasion. Am I right? Uh, Ivan Raimi starts Sule along Rudiger. He's an absolute unit. Well, I wouldn't disagree with you there. He certainly is an absolute unit, but uh, I don't think he'll be starting along uh, alongside Rudiger as uh, he's not even part of the squad at the moment, and it doesn't look it doesn't look like he's going to be. Where are the German training camps? Schrisch, I hope I'm saying that correctly, is asking. Uh, so they're currently in Jena in Germany here for this training session. Um, but the training camp itself is uh, in a place called Blankenhain, which is in Thuringen. Um, so I hope that helps. And to be even more precise, the teams or the team are at the Spa and Golf Resort Weimarer Land in Thuringen. And uh, that is where they'll be for the, uh, the two friendlies uh, coming up against the Ukraine and then against Greece before the Euros get underway. Midway through June, the two friendlies on the 6th of June or, excuse me, the 3rd of June and the 7th of June. So uh, the 3rd of June is against the Ukraine. It's an 8.45 kickoff for Central European time. And the game against Greece. Mats Hummels, one of the best German centre-backs of all time. Complete disrespect. Yeah, well, I don't think you'll be alone there. I think there's plenty of Germany fans that will feel uh, Mats Hummels should be in the squad. I'm, I'm sure there'll be just as many who think he shouldn't be. Uh, it's definitely uh, a real discussion point, isn't it? And one that will uh, go on during the Euros and after the Euros as well, um, depending on how well Germany do. Um, certainly has had an incredible season with uh, Borussia Dortmund, hasn't it? Uh, in a season where uh, where a lot of uh, I think a lot of people thought he was probably uh, or probably had played his best games and put in his best performances, but that's almost a uh, BVB and uh, Bayern Munich legend, more of a BVB legend, if I'm completely honest. Well just never ceases to amaze or surprise does he and uh, as far as uh, as far as I know or as far as I can remember probably one of the best in the air as well such an aerial presence in the box both defensively and defensively but doesn't look like he's going to be part of the European Championships this summer Will you support Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League final? That's a tough one. It's a tough one. Um, I have always had a soft spot for Borussia Dortmund. Um, however, I'm also uh, a big Zinedine Zidane fan. And so Real Madrid also has a place in my heart. Um, let's put it this way. I won't be... Uh, I won't be depressed no matter who wins. Um, but I am really looking forward to that final. I think it's going to be an absolute cracker. William, will Germany be able to break the group stage curse? Well, we certainly hope so, don't we? Um, I think they've probably, uh, in terms of the teams they've been, uh, well, not given, because no one's given anything at an international tournament, but uh, the teams they've been selected alongside, shall I say, has given them a really good chance of making it out of the group. I think especially the first two games against Scotland and Hungary are, team, uh, are, are games that they... Uh, could and maybe even should win. I think uh, 
Switzerland will be the toughest encounter. That's their third game and also their final group game, which, depending on how the, the first two go, I mean, fingers crossed they go well, but let's say they don't, then uh, and they have to pick up points or, or need to win that last game against Switzerland, that could be a tough one because I think Switzerland are a very underrated side. I think they've shown in recent years that they're a team on the up. They've got a lot of really talented players playing at a very high level around the world and around Europe uh, at club level. Uh, I think Granit Xhaka, perfect example at Leverkusen, you know, another player who, after leaving Arsenal, a lot of people probably thought, well, we've probably seen the best from him, then goes on to become German champion and DFB Pokal winner, very nearly Europa League winner as well. Um, who else? I mean, they've in the goalkeeping department, they've got some fantastic goalkeepers at their disposal as well. Uh, and just a really, really underrated team for me. So I think it's important for Germany to pick up maximum points in those first two games, and then they don't have to worry about that last game against Switzerland. Although, again, it is a game I think Germany probably should win on paper. Um, but let's just hope they don't uh, make that uh, a do-or-die match, shall we say. I think that's that's the most important thing. Where is Julian Brandt? Julian Brandt not with the squad at the moment. Um, whether or not he'll be in the final squad, also a question mark there. But because he has the Champions League final to look forward to with Borussia Dortmund, uh, he and other players involved with those two teams, uh, Borussia Dortmund and Real Madrid, not with the national team here today. Do you think Wirtz will join Bayern in 2025? Well, I think not just Bayern Munich will be trying to sign Florian Wirtz in the seasons to come. I think he'll probably stay with Leverkusen for as long as Xavi Alonso does and then possibly uh, move elsewhere. But I don't think he'll be going anywhere this summer anyway. Not unless someone comes in with crazy money for him. Then we might see him make the move. We might see Leverkusen try and cash in, but can't see that happening. And... Uh, I'd quite like to see a, a full season from him at Leverkusen playing in the Champions League as well. I think uh, there's still more to give and more to come for Bayern Ulfia. But I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Florian Wirtz move on elsewhere in the not-so-distant future. But not this summer or next. But then again, you never know in football, do you? Anything is possible. And uh, with some of the money thrown around these days... Uh, God knows what will happen. I hope to see him at Leverkusen for another season or two, at least. Though. Um, and then, yeah, up to him to see what he does next. <laughs> 